what's up and welcome back to my channel i don't know why i'm clapping let's get rid of that as well so the last video i made was a vlog and you saw i landed up in my humble abode this is my apartment if you haven't watched my last vlog go watch that you'll see what's up you'll know why my location has changed but anyways for this video i don't know if i'm going to be calling it pillow talk or not uh, if I was like in my bed in my pajamas and I had like a tripod that could sit on my bed I would call it pillow talk I'm gonna call it pillow talk anyways because I'm gonna buy that tripod that I'm talking about but for this video I've been so excited to make content like this I'm genuinely excited to start speaking about what I want to start speaking about it's gonna be all spiritually based so if you are in need of healing at the moment or looking for a sign or looking for anything just piece of pieces of information or i'm willing to listen to me there's always something that you can take out of everything so um without further ado i'm just going to get started on this little thing so this is basically just things i've been thinking about things i started to notice not started to notice like i've really come to know these things and learn them and embody them every day and i just want to share them with you guys tell me your thoughts in the comments also if you like if you think you're gonna like this video if you know you're gonna like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more so i can carry on making content like this because if i'm honest i think this is not think i know this is my favorite content to make it's what comes most naturally to me like i love telling you guys what to eat and all that because i love fueling my body but this is much better for me in order to start any sort of spiritual journey whether it be if you're just starting going further into it or or you think you're really spiritual already um I don't really understand the concept of being more spiritual than someone else you just might be more aware of it the first thing you're going to want to do is sit down or don't sit down just be still and ask yourself am i really living or just making earthly appearances am i going about my day in like an automatic mode or am i truly feeling every single moment do i feel free am i living am i do i feel like this is life this is the way i want to live or, or do you feel like you have been doing things monotonously and um, just going about your day like feeling half-hearted about things if that is the case you need to sit down and ask yourself what is it that I want to be who is it that I want to be who am I really and this will take some time it did for me I had to literally sift through a lot of nonsense that I had fogging up my insides but I re you cannot, I realize you cannot look outside of yourself to go further in. You literally have to be still, whether this means dancing for you, I mean still internally. Whether this means dancing for you, walking, I sit, or if it's if I'm watching a pretty view or listening to music while I'm walking to gym or something. And I'm like, who do I want to be? Who am I really? And you ask yourself this, and if you are not who you want to be, then you've got to change because nothing in your life will change if you don't and i know you've heard this millions of times it sounds like a bumper sticker quote and it is because it's so true nothing around you will change if you don't and even if it's something so small for for me the pre previous months but um recently i needed to change a few things and they weren't so subtle right now it's tiny little things but i'm aware of it and where I am in my life right now, I'm super happy. I'm super content. I've never been so at peace. Anything I do, I, I cannot explain to you how I feel. It's almost like I literally, I feel like air. And I've come to know that what, I, what I'm truly passionate about is relieving other people from negative emotion so i'm learning how to do that i used to be shy with what i said but my intuition is so powerful if i look at somebody i can tell exactly what they're feeling because i'm an empath and lots so are lots of people and i used to just be like oh they're feeling like this and leave it and subtly later on i'd say you know it's okay blah 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 but now i literally will look at them and say 
I know you feel like this. I know you're afraid to do this and this and that. But don't be because you are divinely guided. You've got this. You've really got this. Take a deep breath. Trust your intuition. Talk to your talk to your angels. Talk to whoever you talk to. You have got this. If you came here for a sign, here's your sign. You have got this. Just chill. Trust your intuition. He, she, it knows what it's doing. The next thing I want you guys to ask yourself is, are you free? And I'm taking, I do philosophy um, as one of my electives in uni. And this question came up, but it was more in like a physical sense, like thing, like, are you truly free? If, if somebody said, oh, that was so convenient. Take this pen and stab me in the eye. Would you do it? And they was saying like no you won't because your natural intuition is not to do that but i'm not talking about that i'm talking about internally are you free do you feel like you can do anything and everything if you do not feel that if you feel limited you are not free and i just want you to know that freedom is out there even if you are financially constrained or you've got family here or and this and that and that these decisions are ultimately yours and i've told you this many times but you can have anything and everything you want we are made like trees will bend and we'll move in this and that direction but we'll never break true freedom will make you feel like you're stretching and once you understand that you can in embody that sort of freedom you'll feel free freedom starts with the realization that you have the choice to be free if you have a job that's tying you down it's making you feel sick actually making you feel dead or you're doing a course that's doing the same thing if you're in a relationship that's doing the same thing you need to give yourself that liberation you need to grow a pair and i'm gonna be harsh because this someone had to say that to me for lots of areas of my life you literally need to grow a pair and you need to do what feels right to you you have to put yourself first and by you being internally at peace, completely in alignment, this will not only benefit yourself. So it may automatically seem selfish, but you do need to be selfish. And once you are, it benefits the people around you. It benefits society as a whole in the long term. The next thing I want to talk about are like your dreams, your goals or whatever. So you guys know, I know how to manifest. Everyone knows everyone's able and capable of manifesting but at the moment in my life I, besides tiny little things like maybe a free cup of coffee once in a while or whatever I don't desire anything I don't want anything how can I want when I'm whole I feel satisfied I maybe no i'm truly i was trying to think maybe i want a vespa but i don't think so i love walking every day all of a sudden i truly feel full so maybe i'm just letting you know materialistic things yes they will they will add to you physically but internally if you are truly whole truly present truly breathable like air you will not need anything but if you do that's all right as well do you know what i mean so moving on to like becoming more spiritually aware and things like that you if you know that you are not you feel like you're far away from reaching this inner peace it's probably because you have some shadow work to do so these are like things from childhood trauma things like that but there are things online that can help you go through this so like i had i didn't tell anyone but I had, and I literally did meditations about it, but not guided meditations. You can, but I thought I can do it by myself. I used to breathe through my body, go to the areas that I felt there was, it was clogged. Mine was in this area, my heart. It was like, felt, literally felt heavy. And I had to breathe all of that shit away. You literally have to go deep inside of your shadows and breathe them away. Tell tell them and your ego it's okay thank you you've taught me but i trust myself and you can go now and once you do this you'll find it's so liberating every single person can feel so alive and sometimes you get glimpses of that but then you forget and when you forget it almost feels like life is a solid six out of ten but it's not it really is not 
So you need to sort through that dark nonsense, that negative things, your ego that tells you lies, because your ego, your ego is a tricky thing. It makes you feel like you need to hustle. You need to do this. You need to not stop working until you are successful, until you are valued, until you are worth it. But it's tricky because how can it do that when you were born with that right? You are already those things. Your ego is just something that is an illusion. Your ego speaks out of fear. It's not real. If you want to go through the motions of life, literally be so happy, you have to look at the people around you. Who am I associating with? Or I don't, I don't necessarily cut out people anymore because um, if negative people are coming to me, I know it's because there's something that I need to sort out because the world is just a reflection of who you are. The world is a mirror. So if something happens to me, an experience, or I encounter this person or that person, or something ugly happens to me, I know, okay, well, I don't say why did they act that way. I said, well, why was I acting that way? Because there is no separation between me and you. Physically, on this, on this plane, it looks like that, but it's not. It's almost as if a string is running through all of us. So if something bad happens to me, I'll say, well, why did I do that? And you'll notice that you do the same thing. So if when you fix that, they will fix that. You will not attract that anymore. Everything is connected. So like I said, this is why you should become peaceful and internally clear because then everything else is and your life will literally be a breeze. You everything you want and everything emotionally and physically and materialistically will come to you another thing i've noticed is to appreciate the people around you but not to see them and look at them and see their bodies and how cool their outfit is but if it is cool you compliment that because i do that all the dude all day people around me dress so fire you know what i mean well done guys but i i don't know i've come to this place where I look at people and I no longer see their bodies I, I feel I feel their presence and I've noticed people even the angry ones all they are is love if it comes across as angry it's because they've been hurt but if you look past that you'll see all there is is love and if you offer love you'll get it back so just acknowledge that love exists in everybody, even in people that you think you never used to like. I had to forgive many people when I did my shadow work for how they hurt me. And many people that I like truly despised, like, ah, oh, could like in the past, I, used to, I hate that guy. I had to forgive them truly and wish them well and send them love. It really, really works. Another thing is you can ask the universe for anything. You guys know this. I just spoke about this. Um, genuinely, the other day... Okay, so just remember that your words are powerful. So I, I do French as an elective, uh, as a major, and brand new at it. So I write, like on my mirror here, I've got... Uh, Shweepa, so I'm not just little um little sentences that I use every day, and I got this one saying you are late, just in case someone was late. Uh, so I'd learn this word just so, and I'd practice saying you are late in French. Uh, so ten retard. So I'd practice saying this, and I'm saying it, saying it, saying it. Then I realized on the weekend. I only realized yesterday on the weekend I was late so much, and if my family sees this, they're gonna be like. Yeah, you really were. And I'm always a little bit late. But this time I was getting late and in trouble. And the people were behaving just exactly the way I was practicing it in French. I should have known that I was literally doing an affirmation saying, you are late, you are late, you are late. No wonder I attracted all of it. But if you use this to your advantage, I wake up every morning only if I feel like it. But I try to do it most mornings. I'll never force myself because that's not... Um, Taoism. I'll explain that now now. So I'll say I am beautiful, I'm intelligent, I am capable, I am Einstein, I am wealthy, I am peaceful, I am truly in alignment. Everything I want will come to me. 
everything's working in my favor and you say this and the most powerful way for me is to look at myself in the mirror and say it because that will remind you that you're talking about yourself so it literally it works so well and you'll notice things start working so much easier i was struggling with french i'll be honest and then i started saying i'm so good at french and this and that and that. Now I'm starting to remember whole sentences. An Uber guy shouted at me the other day because he couldn't find me, but I could hear he was from Congo. So then I shouted at him back and he was like, what? And I shouted at him in French. I was like, yo, girl. <laughs> but yeah, genuinely ask the universe for anything you want. And sometimes you forget this. But does this not add to the notion of your freedom? Because if you are truly peaceful and, you, and if you can ask for anything you want, and you will guarantee get it if you trust. Trust will come with that inner clarity. If you do that, life's a clearing. The last thing I want to speak about is, but it's probably, so it like ties in with everything, but it's a new point because it's new words, is to literally embody love and softness and, oh, Taoism. So you can spell it T-A-O, ism or daoism if you want to research it further but it's literally the art of allowing the art of flow it's literally the word is wu wei so the act of daoism is dao de jing and that is it comes from chinese philosophy and it's i can't remember who came up with it it's lao tzu who came up with this and this is literally going acting as if you are water because although water is soft, it has the ability to erode rocks. And water, if you pour it into a glass, it takes the shape of a glass. If you put it in the ocean, it becomes waves. The ability to adapt and to yield and to genuinely, when I tell you guys to chill in my other videos and I say, just stop trying, this is what I mean. To literally, it almost feels like when you're living in a Tao, it feels like you've let go internally you know when you're carrying a heavy bag on your back the feeling when you literally let go it's like that but constantly it's like sneezing constantly that that ecstasy feeling i encourage you guys to do this it's so magical and you guys should try this because everything you'll realize you begin to ebb and flow with the way that the world works in nature it looks like it's speaking to you everything is just starting to speak to you if you wake up in the morning with a question and you're in alignment it will pop up on the tv screen literally i was i went with my friend diesel to tiger's milk the other day for a pub quiz and it was just general knowledge or whatever and they were like what is the queen's residence um or whatever and i was at gym the other day i'm running on the treadmill and i couldn't i was like what is the answer again and for some reason i wanted to say buckingham palace and i was like what was the answer? I kid you not. I look up. I never watched the news. I was at gym. And I was. I'm never on the treadmill either. I look up. And it's like. Um, the prince has died in the. Oh my gosh. I forgot the. I forgot the location. But it gave me the answer there. I can't believe I forgot. It's right now. Are you joking? Anyway. I literally asked the question in that moment. Looked up. Oh. Oh wait. There it is. And it happens instantaneously like that and although it may seem like a coincidence and and whatever a coincidence is literally an incident that cannot be explained it's divine timing coincidence is the same as a synchronicity you just using different words synchronicity is when you are aligned with its specific frequency so it has to manifest its law just like the law of gravity it has to manifest there's no ifs or buts about it if your frequency matches the frequency of something else it has to just like a radio signal when you tune it to a certain number that radio station will play that is exactly how it works it's science and just because you don't look like a radio you're still emitting a frequency so i'll end off this video by saying that everything is going to be okay. Um, you can write in a journal if you feel like you want to start this. I literally have a journal. One second. Let me go get it. 
I literally, the other day, I wanted to do this because I haven't done it in a while, honestly, because I'm lazy. And the other day I was like, you know, just put down your damn phone and just start writing. And if you don't know what to say, it's all right. Literally, listen to my first paragraph. I was like, what is it that I want to say? Haha, this is so funny. I can hear my voice in my head. Okay. Oh, now I'm feeling. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Then I carried on. And then literally from there, it escalated. And you, it literally feels like you're taking away your blockages inside. And you do. You say exactly. You have to have the courage to be honest with yourself. Truly honest. Say what you mean. And mean what you say. Feel strip inside. That is how it must be. Even when you're out in public, slowly learn how to be honest. I, when, while I was going through a lot in, in December and November, um, I was doing two things at once. So I was doing something I really wanted to do from my heart, but then I was contradicting myself because I wasn't being honest. And that really created internal conflict for me. So if that's the same thing for you guys, my advice is, be honest, even if it scares you, you better be honest. And follow your heart. Remember, you need to be soft in this life. Soft like water, you need to flow like water. Everything will come to you. Be love, be light. You are an extension of the divine. Don't forget that, honestly. And I, that's all I wanted to speak to you guys about. There's a few people, I know lots of you need to be reminded of lots of these things. So... I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really love making it. I feel like I just meditated. Um, I'm about to make my dinner now. So, yeah, bye guys. I'm going to make, just so, just for fun, um, I'm going to make a chicken, chicken breast with sweet potato and broccoli. Very exciting. Jokes. I don't, I don't have pasta right now. I would have made pasta. But I love sweet potatoes. Put some cinnamon on there. But yeah, anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember everything I said. Try to put it in practice. If you do, tell me how it goes. You can DM me genuinely or DM me and ask for my number if um, Instagram is way too much data. Um, yeah, pretty much. Bye, everyone. Love you.